Okay, so we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the liquify filter. First thing we're going to do is go to layer and we're going to duplicate our layer. Next, we're going to go to filter and liquify. Okay, depending on the size of your image, you may start off with a brush size that's really small and that's not going to be effective. You see if we click it's it's very minimal. So bigger is better. So we're going to try to make sure the brush size is um, pretty big. And you can you can mess around with that over here. Or I prefer to use my keyboard and just click the brackets to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so we're going to be trying to make his eyes really big and googly. So for that we're going to need the bloat tool. So we select that. And right off the bat if you try to do it from the corner of the eye, it's not going to be good. So we got to undo that and make sure you start at the center of the pupil. And just click and hold. And there we have we've, we have our first eye. And do the same for the next one. And that's basically it. But you can go over to the forward warp tool and that kind of drags things around. So you just click and hold to move things. You wanna tuck his ear in or make the neck smaller. Let's drag his lips. Okay, and the pucker tool is the opposite of the bloat, so it's going to be kind of warping things inside, so it makes things a bit smaller. That's it. You press OK and your changes are applied and then you can you can see the before and after. You can do the same, of course, if you want to do it to an image of your pet. And go to bloat. And try to center it. Click and oops. Turns out I was in pucker. Okay, so you go to bloat, click and hold. That's it. You can make your ears smaller with a forward warp tool. That's it. We have these mutated beasts.